about 93 degrees outside. Hot. Well, as you can tell, going fishing, it feels like the middle of summer. It's 93 degrees. And it was, the water was, last time I fished Black Hills, which I took the big boat out when my dad was home, didn't catch anything, missed three good bites. But, um, it was in the 60s, high 60s. And that was two days ago. Now it's 90s. And the water was in the high six, mid 60s. The water's probably going to be in the mid 70s. I'd say mid high 70s by Saturday, Sunday. I'm going to fish Sunday, I think. But going to the Kentlands, I am scorching in this car right now. I'm turning the air off uh, while I'm talking to the camera. Going to the Kentlands, um, water should probably be warming up pretty good there. And uh, hopefully I can get in some uh, good fishing time. God, it's so hot. It feels like summer. It shouldn't feel this warm yet. Okay, let's get going. So I'm walking down now. I brought three rods. I usually bring two, but I'm gonna bring three. But it's got some floral on this one, medium heavy, bitsy flip. Um, I bought the Shakespeare rod and reel from Michael. It's got the BPS turning special reel on it, um, and a 30 pound braid and swim bait. And then it's got the good old Senko. So there's a few people fishing over there. So um, I'm just gonna go over in this little. Ooh, it's algae. -y. So this might mean swim bait's probably gonna work, but. I think I'm gonna try the um, frog also. Frog might be good here. So I'm gonna go down this hill and uh, see if I can pick some off. I'm switching up to a little beaver bait to have a pit boss. A little uh, crawl color. Let's see if anything's gonna eat this. I'm fishing a weightless. And it kinda looks like a dying bluegill. And I can swim it also. Looks pretty good. Looks actually really good swam. So I'm probably just going to swim it and flip it down some of this muck. See if it won't produce a little fish bite. There's one. That was the second cast of the pit balls. There we go. Not a bad fish. Ate it as soon as it hit the water. Second cast. There we go. Not a pounder, but ate it right on the edge of that weed on the little uh, Texas rig pit boss. So, here we go. First one, pit boss. This ground is so soggy. All right, see ya. Ouch. I think a bee just stung me. What the heck? Great. Oh boy, snap the tip there. Solid. All right, let's see. Got a nice clearing here. Let's see if I can find more back here. Okay. Oh, there's one. Didn't even know I had him. The heck? Oh, popped off right there. I don't want to mess with you fish. Just go. Really? Come on, go. Go. I got it. Darn it. Ah, it's water. I'm going to mess up my shoes. Get over here. There you go. Number two of the day. No, it's just a little one. Thanks. Go. All right, go away. Stuck my hook right in the tree. Let's see if I can pitch out there and get another one. Another one. Stack back here. You know, another probably decent one. Okay. Here we go. Oh, this guy's been hooked before. On Jack, pick of this guy. All right, stack back here. I saw him wake up. Another decent little one. Fish out there and see if I can get a third one twice. So I'm gonna go back out and try to get him. But go over what I'm using real quick. Just BPS turning special, Shakespeare agility, 30 pound braid. 4-0 Y-gap screw lock hook for swim baits. Berkeley Pip Boss. I forget the color, but I'll make sure to link it in the description or list it. 
I'm not usually linking stuff, but just kind of swimming it, dragging it, popping it, doing anything just to give it some good action. And it's uh, seeming to be a pretty good pattern here and all this grass and stuff. So let's see if I can get that one. I kept missing it. I felt like I'd eat some fish, but you never know. Damn here. I wonder if anyone will uh, be home here willing to eat. I wish this riprap continued in the water. Then it would be a prime spot, but it's still a really good spot for pretty much everything. Crappy, some fish, bass. But I didn't even bring the panfish box today, so I'm going strictly, what the heck? That kind of looked like a bass, but strictly panfish today. No bass stuff. So let's uh, flip this baby out, see if anyone's willing to eat it. There's one. That's a good one. Jacked him. There we go. Stuck him. I cracked it back in this fish so hard. He's. This fish is not moving at all. He's not even moving. I think I stunned him. I jacked him so hard. Cannot take photo. Sick. Oh, I feel bad for this guy. Whew. Oh, here he comes. Oh, there he is. Oh, right all, all over my phone. Let's go back. Or I'll, I'll help you. Oh, this one. Okay, he's gone. Okay. Well, that was a nice fish. Probably the biggest one of the day. These fish aren't huge, but they're a lot bigger than the pond that I usually fish here. So, And I'm getting them in numbers, so that's good. So, I keep saying so and butt. If you notice in my videos, I'm saying so and butt all the time. But, let's see if I can catch a fish. Long grass, long grass, long grass, long grass. They have not mowed this. But switching ponds, heading to the one uh, that outflows out of this one. So try to do the same taxes here and get one. Oh boy, I watched him come up and eat that too. That was dope. Oh, that's a good one. I watched that guy come up and eat it too. That's not a bad fish right there. Now we're talking. Now we're getting somewhere. That's a chunk. I literally watched that fish come up and swipe at that. Um, swipe at that pit boss. It looks like three feet from the bank. I need to delete some stuff so I can get a picture. Oh, pre-spawn chunk. Yeah, she's she's fat. Nice fish. About two pounds. Let her go. There she goes. Sweet. So many bluegill hanging around, so that leads me to believe that uh, there's got to be some big bass around, which was right. I'm throwing this little bluegill pattern pit boss, which is a great imitation for these pre-spawn bass. So I'm gonna work this bank and uh, see if I can get another one. Don't trust bigger. me on this one, but I'm pretty sure green sunfish are an invasive species, and they uh, spawn at different times. So I don't, you can't see, but there's a bed in the water right there. There's a bunch of beds all over here, and they got a bunch of green sunfish in them. And green sunfish, I think they're invasive, so they probably spawn at different times, but perfectly shaped bed, like right at my rod tip. So that's why there was um, so many sunfish around, I think. There were, I see some green sunfish chasing each other off beds, so that's probably what's going on now. There's one right there in the bed. Oh, I just spooked him. But I'm just pitching it. There's a big, there's a grass line right here, and I'm just pitching my uh, little pit boss, whatever, feel just at the edge of it. I saw a couple little bass, but nothing of any size that will be able to eat this. And um, I'm just pitching this. It gets really shallow back there, so I think that's where this bait is going to excel. I got about a half hour. I don't have too long, which is a bummer. I have to study for a test, and yeah, I have to do a few study guys and whatnot. Yeah, these green sunfish are so lit up. Let's see. 
I wish I had my, I actually wish I had my panfish box now so I could try to catch one of them, but gotta stay focused on bass. That's what I'm here for. There's one. A little tiny one. There was two of them together. I was just burning it across this bluegill bed. I think the bluegill might be starting to spawn here, but there we go. What's up? Little one, smallest one of the day. But ate the pit balls. See you, buddy. Just so many bluegill beds. There's one. There you go. Another one. Just swimming across the grass out there. Is able to get this little guy. Putting a hurting on him. I've lost count already. Or I've lost count already. I've lost count. Probably getting close to the 10 fish mark. I'll put the uh yeah, I'll have to, I'm gonna have to look at the footage to figure out how um many fish I caught. Definitely a lot. So yeah Lee putting a hurting on these fish. Alright. Gotta get one down here. Frog. Mouth of this little creek. Gotta be one or two sitting here. You gotta think. I'm an idiot. Wasn't filming. But I've been working on this fish forever. And he finally just came up and swirled on it. And it's time to go too, so good way to end the day. I know with a lot of fish, I don't even know how many. But this one's been swirling all over here. Got him. Bummer I wasn't filming, but throw him back. Oh, oh graceful. I'm missing a, uh I think I'm gonna sign off for this video because it's uh time to go. I gotta study and do some packets. Um had a pretty decent day out here, fished a new tactic that I never have done before, so um pretty uh pretty fun, gotta load it up on some fish and uh be coming out here soon soon after this so as always guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video